All right, I've got a serious question, if you can take me seriously. Is the Milwaukee High Impact the reason why you got into the Milwaukee ecosystem? Tell me in the comments, because I'm pretty sure that a large number of you got into the Milwaukee ecosystem all because of this bad boy here. Let's talk about it. When the Milwaukee High Impact first came to the industry, it was industry leading. Nobody else had a product that could have 1,500 foot pounds of torque. And I'm talking nut busting torque. You take an axle off, boom, you take lug nuts off, boom. In the world of high impact torque wrenches, we've got two heavy hitters in the hands today. <coughs> we've got the generation two Milwaukee high impact, and we've got generation three Milwaukee high impact. The generation three packs 200 foot pounds more over the previous generation. That's right. 200 foot pounds more, but there is a but. You need to pair it with the Forge battery. Without the Forge battery, it's going to behave like the previous generation. If you want to unlock that full potential of 1600 foot pounds, you need to pair this with the new Milwaukee Forge battery. But don't get me wrong, the high impact Milwaukee is more than capable with its original batteries without the Forge. We all know that because we all love our high impact Milwaukee. Again, I know this got you into the ecosystem. Now I want to talk about workplace illumination. And you know that's a topic that's a favorite of mine. I love lights. Now in the previous generation, you had a light right at the bottom, right above the battery. You know what? You were removing lug nuts, but you were lighting up the caliper. That's not ideal. Milwaukee finally learned their lesson. Now they understand workplace illumination is key. Now you got three lights around the anvil lighting up exactly what you're working on. This is key. For me, for you, for mechanics, workplace illumination is super important. And you don't realize it until you don't have the illumination. No more shadows, and you get proper lighting. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's talk about weight. Now, this Generation 3 is 26 grams lighter than the Generation 2. That's not much to advertise. And that's probably why Milwaukee didn't advertise it. They are basically the same weight, unless you can tell what 26 gram is on your wrist all day long. Let's talk about application speed. On the Generation 3, you've got 2,000 maximum RPM. That's right. And on the Generation 2, you've got a maximum of 1,750 rotations per minute. The Gen 3 is faster, and it's notable. Listen to this. Both on Power Mode 3... You can hear the difference. It is notable, and you can hear it on the Generation 3 being slightly faster than the Generation 2. Will you notice a difference in a real-world application? Side-by-side, side, yes. On your daily use, likely not. Let's talk about aesthetics. When you put them side-by-side, side, the first thing you'll notice is you have a premium anvil on the Generation 3. I think this looks a lot better, and I know Milwaukee is incorporating this into a lot of their new tools with the three LED lights. You'll also notice that the Generation 3 is slightly taller than the Generation 2. And I think what they've done here is they've ex extended the height of the handle so that it's easier to hold and you get less cramping on your hand. And then you'll also notice that the Generation 3 is slightly shorter. So you've got a shorter gun, you've got a taller gun, you've got a lighter gun, and you've got a better looking gun. Aesthetics, I like the Generation 3 much better than the Generation 2. I also love it because I don't have this metal casing that always gets banged up when you're working. At least you've got a rubberized compound that'll be able to take that impact and your gun won't look like garbage after two weeks. And it's the moment of truth. Do you upgrade from the Generation 2 to the Generation 3? And the answer is, if you've got a lot of money that you don't know what to do with, Yes. However, in most cases, if you've got a Generation 2 that still looks great, still functions great, I would say no. There's no point upgrading to the Generation 3 for an additional 200 foot-pounds of torque. Not only that, you'll have to purchase a new battery, the Milwaukee Forge, if you don't already have it, which is going to put a big dent in your wallet. Now, that being said, if workplace illumination is key for you, you need the lighting, you need a shorter gun, and you need something with the extra foot-pounds of torque, and in most applications you don't, then yes, go for it. Buy the Generation 3, trade in your old gun, or sell it. But in most cases, I think most people are going to keep their Generation 2 until it no longer functions. 
Let me know in the comments what you think. Will you be upgrading your Generation 2 to the Generation 3? Do you like the Generation 3 look over the Generation 2? Let me know your thoughts. Folks, as always, like and subscribe to this channel if you want more videos like this. It helps me create more content. Thanks, guys, and on to the next one.